going on out on the ice this morning? A Disney favorite. A lot going on up in the sky, too. Before we send it over to Grant Gilmore this morning, check out these gorgeous photos from Twitter of the Northern Lights. Guess what? They were seen Ooh. over Illinois, South Dakota, Minnesota as well. A rare, rare viewing. Rare. And Grant, you were saying it was just like disrupted. We had some weather issues in uh, Alabama, but they could have seen it as far south as Alabama. Well, that, that was the initial forecast from the Space Prediction Center. They said, that. I don't think there were any reports. There was clear skies in Alabama, but they didn't see any, at least from what I saw. The, the greatest displays were the northern tier states. I mean, in some, some of the pictures coming out of Canada last night, if you do a Twitter search for Northern Lights or the Aurora Borealis, I mean, it's, it's probably one of the best events that I can remember in a very long time. Cloud cover has moved over Virginia this morning, but even some reports of being able to see the Northern Lights in uh, Virginia as well last night. Just incredible display. Live view from Arlington, Virginia right now. Let's talk about the science behind these northern lights. We don't we don't see them here in Florida. We're just too far south. And it's in part due to this magnetic field. The magnetic field is stronger closer to the equator, which means it's weaker closer to the pole. So here's what's going on. You have the solar wind, and then you have these charged protons and electrons that are emitted from the sun. And that solar wind then propels those charged protons and electrons toward Earth. Now, those particles then follow the Earth's magnetic field, and then that ultimately will bring it toward the poles where that Earth's magnetic field is weakest at the North Pole and the South Pole. It's not called the Northern Lights in the South Pole. It's called the Southern Lights or the Aurora Australis down through the southern latitude. So here's what's happening. As those electrons collide with the molecules in the atmosphere, those atmospheric molecules are excited and the collisions then create the different colors that we see in those northern lights. And it depends on the molecule for what color you are then able to see in the northern lights. Red auroras are from the oxygen molecules getting excited. The blue auroras are from nitrogen molecules so on and so forth, a lot of different variations and combinations of all those molecules. But just an incredible display last night. A lot of people last night seeing the northern lights for the first time ever because it was able to go fo so far south, and it was a fantastic display. We just get to look at it on social media and right here on TV, but still, it, uh, incredible pictures.